this team's been nine and seven every season since you uh, got in the league, but now that's over. Uh, how significant is the tenth win, and what is different? Do you think about this team? Um, I credit everybody in this organization. Um, you know, to to be able to accomplish this. You know, you know we're not done, we're not satisfied, but you know, credit by, credit to everybody that's in that building every day, working to you know be able to you know do things like this. You know, for this organization. So, credit by credit to everybody involved. So, um, uh, thanks all of us. Is there anything specific you think that's gotten you over the hump? Um, I think we just, you know, because we got here, he, um, you know, instilled a culture in us, and you know, we just build off from it. We believe in it, and just go out there and work. The season's a grind, and you know, we just try to, you know, play our style of football week in and week out. Jim. And Derek, how'd you like the way you guys executed on offense today? And what's the confidence level for this team after scoring, I guess, over 30 points for the ninth time this season? Yeah, um, you know, I thought we uh, started clicking, you know, when we started putting, you know, plays and, you know, getting down the field, putting drives together and getting in the end zone. Go drives where we stall, you know, some things we still need to improve on, but it's a lot of things that we can build off of from this game, you know. Like everybody got involved, everybody was able to make plays and, you know, just, take the momentum from this game and carry it on to um, next week, you know, through practice and, you know, getting ready to prepare for Sunday again. Teresa. Derek, you mentioned that offensive improvement and, and the drives that you all couldn't. How much better can this offense get? I mean, you've season high in points, fifth straight game with at least 420 yards. It, it looks a little bit like an offense you played back in college in. Yeah, I think just, you know, not being happy, you know, with uh, with the result, I always feel like we can you know be better, and um, and that's I think that's just our focus. You know, how can we improve? You know, from this game uh, going into next week and working on that uh, collectively when we're out there on the field uh, throughout practice throughout the week. Terry, Derek, second time this year you've had a stiff arm where you just threw a man down on the ground. Do your What's the reaction to from your teammates in the huddle and from guys when you get back to the sideline? Does it kind of fire everybody up uh, when those things happen? Um, you know, I was you know, I was looking at him. You know, it was me and him one on one, and I couldn't really see everybody's reaction. You know, I was running the ball, and I'm sure once I you know you get done with this and I check my phone, phone be going crazy, text messages and stuff like that. But you know, um, you know, usually you know they usually get hyped. You know, I appreciate my teammates. Uh, you know. Uh, Darren Bates and all those guys are always uh, hyped up on the sideline when, you know, able to, you know, do something like that. But, you know, um, you know, I, I couldn't tell you if I was so focused on what I had to do. Buck? Hey, Derek, you talk about Rabel kind of installing that culture when he got here. Part of that was hiring Art to be the offensive coordinator. Just how much of a difference do you think that he's made in, in having in, in helping you guys to have team success and, and ultimately to be able to do the kind of things that you're doing unprecedented. Uh, yeah, I think we just, you know, uh, being physical, uh, be relentless by the way we work. Um, we know it's hard work. We know it's a grind. Um, effort and finish, you know, what Coach Braver preaches. And I think art has always been about that, you know, being physical, um, playing with a lot of effort, uh, straining to finish. And, um, you know, I think it was just a, a perfect fit. And, um, you know, and um, just got to keep going week after week. Thanks. Luke? Derek, in the past around this time, you all have had to maybe rely on other teams to help you out for that final playoff push. How exciting is it to know that, you know, you sort of control your own destiny and that the ball is in your court as to how the season finishes for the Titans? Yeah, I think for us it's just um, tunnel vision. Um, focus on what's at hand and not get too caught up in what, everything else going on. What we need to do as a team to, you know, be better on all three phases and go out there and win on Sunday. I mean, you can't control all the outside stuff, just control what we can control. And that's how we play together um, in all three phases. Paul? Derek, they are all obviously impressive feats of strength. Um, I wonder if this stiff arm felt any different to you. It seemed like uh, it's particularly vicious, violent, uh, effective, whatever word you want to put on it. Um, you know, I just look how the defender is going to approach. You know, uh, usually they uh, start high and go low uh, real quick. So I'm not able to, you know, 
get my hand to to be able to stiff arm and you know he stayed high the whole time. I think he was trying to see if I was going to put it out there and you know, he can um, lock it down and get a tackle. But you know, I just waited and you know timed it and it worked. Last one, Buck. Yeah, it's it's the funny visual, Derek. The helmet on the stick drill that you guys do at practice for the stiff arms. But how much do you think that's helped uh, helped you kind of refine your technique on that? Yeah, it has to help. I mean, we do it every day, so it better help because you know we do it every day. And I think uh, you know repetition that that things definitely uh, help me out there on the field.